instructions. We don't need no stinking instructions. Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the longest yard. Hope everybody's doing good. It is winter time up here in the Pacific Northwest and I've got a sweet snow plow. It is not a shovel, it is a sweet plow. I used this back when I was a groundskeeper. This thing is amazing. I figured I'd get my own. This is the Snowcaster. And well, the box says it assembles in less than 10 minutes. So should be pretty easy. I mean, there's only two bolts and two cotter pins on this thing, or two wheels. So I bet you it takes less than 10 minutes. You attack Rock Ridge at noon tomorrow. Here's your badge. So as I'm putting this thing together, it's pretty straightforward bolts and nuts, but I came down to this cotter pin and it's not just a pin in there. It's like a key ring, like, like you have on your keys. You gotta spread it apart, twist it on, but it ended up being pretty good. The wheels Thank were you. pretty straightforward as well. Uh, bolts, washers, nuts. And now that we're at the end, you just gotta tighten all the bolts and you're done. So it was definitely right around 10 minutes, even without instructions. As you can see, the blade is at an angle. So as you're pushing the snow, you're pushing it to one side. Each side you can push the snow to, and then when you're at the end, you can flip it over and your angle is the opposite way. So you're pushing the snow to the other side. All right, now it's time to give this thing a try. Well, it looks like we got about three or four inches last night. So let's give this thing a shot. It does do a lot better in like a one inch scenario. Uh, it pushes the snow a lot better, but three inches I was able to get to one side. Got a little heavy there, but it did great. As you can see, it's pushing the snow to one side. It gets quite a bit of snow. And as you build it up, if you're on a sidewalk or a pathway, as you build it up, you can push it off the side.
as I said before, I did use this for many years as a groundskeeper, so I, I've always highly recommended this to my friends and family. Um, it doesn't hurt your back, you know, you're just pushing something, lifting and throwing snow like a, a basic shovel. So I do recommend this to people who don't like to strain their backs when they're shoveling snow. And I, I definitely think it's great for sidewalks and pathways. All you gotta do is just flip it over and plow the opposite direction. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for watching everybody. And remember, the grass is always greener on the side you take care of. Is it good? Mm -hmm.